Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemi Chisha and my YouTube channel's name is Kemi256. And on my YouTube channel, I share with you my journey working as a housemaid in Saudi Arabia. So for today's video, I'm playing a game with you called Never Have I Ever. So you can also play alongside me in the comment section by letting me know things that you've done and things that you have never done. If you're new on my channel, you are very much welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love. And if you haven't hit that notification bell, please consider hitting it so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. So let's get started. Number one, never have I ever pretended to be sick just to get a day off. So for me, I have ever pretended to be sick just to get a day off. But the day before the pretense, I had really worked so hard. I had woke up at 7.30 and slept at 4 a.m. So we had visitors and you know when they come, there are like 20 of them. Everyone drinks coffee, everyone drinks tea, they have plates of cake. So I washed plates, I washed cups, I washed glasses and I was really, really tired very tired so i made a plan as like you know when i wake up tomorrow like the following day i have to pretend that i'm sick so that i can be given a day off i think my boss was like oh gomunana asi you're not getting a leave or you're not getting a day off so when i woke up i told her i was like you know she was an old lady i used to call her omi meaning mom so i was like you know i'm very sick i'm very sick can i can i please get a day off she was like oh sorry sorry she was like, go in the fridge, there's panado, swallow it. And remember yesterday we had visitors. So go and clean the living rooms, both the living rooms, clean the toilets, the kitchen, and this other living rooms of my children. And your room, then you can go and sleep. I was like, that is the usual work that I do. So my pretense didn't gain anything. It just ended in vain like that. It ended in tears. So just know, whether you pretend or you're really sick, as long as you're in Saudi Arabia, as long as you're in a contract as a housemaid, just know you're not going to get a day off just because you're sick. No. There's a day I got sick, I was taken to the hospital, the doctor examined me, and she was like, you know, you have to get rest, you have to start eating things that have sugar because according to the tests, they show that you don't have sugar in your body. So that day I was like, you know, since I've seen, I've even been on drip, they're going to let me be like at least for one day or two days. They didn't give me a day off. So just know you're going to work for the 16 hours, whether you want or not, as long as you're in a contract. Maybe if you are not in a contract, there you, you're free to tell your madam, you know what, madam, me to damn not working because I'm sick. There you'll be free, as long as you're not in a contract. Or maybe if your bosses are good, but I've not had... That thing of giving a day off because you're sick from anyone. Number two, never have I ever loved a male person that lives in the family. Well, for me, I have never. And I pray that I never love any male person in the family. The reason too why I don't love any of the male, like love going into a relationship, I have never. The reason too why I have not is because I know it will cost me my life. Number two, I know that it won't lead me to anywhere. I just want a relationship that is going to be for a lifetime, not a relationship that is just going to be for days, for months, or even for a year. No. Number three, I wouldn't want to be the reason why someone's marriage has failed. I don't deal with married men. I don't deal with men who are in a relationship. I don't do that. And the other reason is that I don't have time and they also don't have time. So like the family I work in, like boys just come during the holidays from their workplaces. They come like for two days, three days, then go back. So just tell me where will I get that time? Or where will they get that kind of time? So I've never loved anyone. Maybe there's a time I was at Lulu Hypermarket and I saw a guy. He was really handsome. And I was like, oh my God, this guy is very handsome. That was the only guy that I complimented. So I've never loved any male person in the family. Number three, never have I ever stolen anything to eat or to drink that my boss has never given me permission to eat or drink. So guys, if this is, if they say that housemates who have never stolen something to eat or drink are the ones going to heaven, I'm sure 98% wouldn't even reach at the door of the heaven. Because stealing, it's not stealing money, stealing juice, you steal juice, then you add in the water. That is the method if you don't want to be caught. 
If you know where you work, there are no cameras. That is the method. Drink juice, pour some water. Then the day is gone like that. Eat chocolate. If the kids are, they won't say it's you. Yes. The thing is that you have to live and survive. That's the thing. Sometimes your bosses will hide the food and tell you to eat kubza. If you have a cup of steel, you steal it's small. And then, uh, yes, you count that as a day. So for me, I've ever stolen. I've, I only stopped this habit in this year. I've really, this year, I've really been good. I've not stolen something to eat. Yeah. I've been contented this year. So if they say that maids who have, no, who have never stolen are going to heaven, my dear, there are few who can make it. Because I remember there's a time I was scrolling in Ugandans in Saudi Arabia on Facebook. And the girl had come like one day, she was like one day in Saudi Arabia. She was like, guys, how do they steal Wi-Fi? I want to know how they steal Wi-Fi. I was like, what? You just came and you, you want to steal now. So guys, that is us. Number four, never have I ever pretended to be sleeping even when hearing my boss's voice. That one, eh? I'm still doing it until I leave this country. You know, sometimes I'm always in the rush to finish my work, but then my boss is always like, whenever she hears me like switching off the lights, she calls me to send me another kind of thing, to give me another kind of job. Imagine at midnight or sometimes at one. So whenever I finish my work, I always leave the lights on and tiptoe, tiptoe. As long as I reach on my bed, eh? even if she calls on the top of my head, I can't reply. I have to sleep. I have to pretend like I'm sleeping. So if you have never pretended to be sleeping, ha, huh, blessed are you. But for me, I have to pretend until I leave this country. Until I leave this country. Number five, never have I ever lied that I cleaned the place well I didn't clean it. That one is to every house manager. If you can clean and clean neatly the entire house, my dear, you will break your back. You will break your back. You will not have power again. You see, these houses of Saudi Arabia, they are very big, very big. So if you want to clean everywhere, like smooth, they are not even going to appreciate you. I'm telling you that. So for me, there's some place that I, I know eh, that you put the eyes on. That's where I clean most. The parts that I, the parts of the houses that I know she doesn't normally check, I also dualize there. Like I make a double. So if you don't make a double, like dodge a place, ah, just tell me how you do it because you have problems with your back. The thing is that even if you get sick, they're not going to treat you that well. That is the truth. So for me, I do that. I have ever done that. In my, in, by the way, I do it. I do it. That is the thing that I do. Six, never have I ever pretended to have loved the dress or the clothes that my boss has given me, but when it's not nice or impressing, well, yes, I have ever pretended to have loved the dress. In fact, it was even a uniform. I pretended like I liked it, but I didn't really, really like it. The only thing that I liked about it is that it was a bit smooth that air, that air could enter inside my body that I can feel some air. But the trouser was very big at an extent of covering my foot. I could fold it and it would unfold itself. Fold it and fold itself like that. My, the uniform was wearing me. The only thing that you could see was just like the neck. But the rest of the things were covered by the uniform. So I pretended that I liked it, but I didn't at all. So guys, those are the things that I've done and the things that I've not done. I hope you enjoyed the game. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You can also give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you for the love. God bless you.